Hey guys, welcome back to the Sorty Panda channel. Uh, sorry if there's any uh, background noise. Um, I'm, I'm trying to like keep all the doors closed and windows closed, but uh, unfortunately there's like a lot of noisy neighbors and and cars and alarms and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, on to today's topic. Uh, Solana, how to get some decent yield uh, on your Solana tokens. Um, I'm going to go over a few uh, staking options, including uh, Lido, Marinade Finance, uh, Party Parrot Finance, Solshin, um, and then Saber, Orca, and Mercurial Finance. They're not uh, staking options, but they're places where you can use your uh, liquid staking options. Uh, sorry, your liquid staking uh, tokens. Uh, so if you don't know what that means, I'll, I'll explain explain that uh, in a few slides. Um, so there's a few uh, websites that I'll also include in the link below where you can check out um, the all the different uh, validators that are out there um, where you can get, you know, right now Solana, uh, you should be able to get somewhere between like 6 and 7% just on, um, if, if you just want to stake your Solana tokens, that's fine too. Um, but the reason why I wanted to bring up uh, liquid staking is that um, it's sort of like if you go to a bank, you deposit your money and you get your interest in your bank in your in traditional finance, but in in DeFi, uh, you could basically take your kind of like um, if you get a receipt from your bank saying, "Oh, I deposited X amount of dollars into the bank." Um, your receipt represents your claim on on those dollars, and basically any any uh, interest accrued uh, in, into that account, you can actually take that and. And use it in other places, say like a like a brokerage or like other places where you can get some additional uh, yield opportunities. But um, I, I know it's kind of like a bad example, but like because that these type of opportunities don't exist in traditional finance. And I'm trying to make an analogy of why liquid staking is so powerful. It's sort of like you can like reuse your money and like. Uh, different places at the same time. So let me go on to like the first um, uh, option, uh, Lido. Uh, I've talked about Lido bef before in um, some of my other blog posts. Um, so Lido uh, is, I think a lot of people are familiar with them like based on the Ethereum ecosystem. And they, they are available also on um, Terra Luna and now uh, also on Solana. Um, right now it's sort of, the, they're sort of in progress. So you can stake your, your, uh, Solana tokens with Lido and get like, you know, around, uh, 6%. Um, you, you, and what they, what they'll give you in return is what they called, um, the ST Soul token. So this will be really powerful in the future because I think, um, they're also working with a, a validator called Chorus One and they, they, they're also, uh, you know, uh, for for uh, sticking options, they also do it on Ethereum and and Terra Luna, and Terra Luna has something called Anchor where you can get twenty percent um, on your on your stable coins. So basically, if if in the future, what what I think is going to happen is that ST Sol, you can convert that into something called uh, B Sol, which is like bonded Solana, and you you can use that. As collateral, so that you can borrow uh, stable coins, uh, UST on Terra Luna, and deposit that for an additional uh, twenty percent um, uh, on your, uh, you know, kind of like, like your Solana holdings. But again, um, the, the B Sol isn't available yet, but it should be in the making uh, because they have a. They're also working on. Um, the wormhole v2 which is available only for uh right now between ethereum and solana i'm pretty sure that they'll be um be adding uh terra luna to the mix as well uh but you know it's a work in progress so so as of right now you can only uh do it for basically you can stake uh your solana tokens with lido and you'll get back your st soul um sort of as like a and like kind of like an additional token where you can like use it to to yield farm um and other other protocols like 
like uh, the Saber, um, uh, and then Orca, and Mercurial Finance. Uh, actually, I, I don't know if they're available on Mercurial Finance yet. I, I think they are. I, they're like all these tokens like are confusing. Um, but anyway, like um, let me move on to the next one. Uh, so Marine Finance, I think they were one of the the first ones out. Um, and they have and and their version of um, ST Soul is called M Soul. And so it's the same concept. You you know you stake your Solana tokens with them, and they'll pool it with other other folks. Um, and then you'll get your like your your share of. Uh, of like the uh, kind of like the interest. So right like right now they're paying out 6.2%. And what I like about them is that they also like on their on their site, they also give you options as to where where else you can put your your um like your uh, I guess like when you when you get the M sold, then you can use it in other places. Um unfortunately like the the you know the the yields keep changing as like more more people like pile into like the like these tokens like so like by the time you you watch this like the the yields were well private unfortunately like uh go down like kind of like in other places as well like once um you know someone finds out about it then they they keep piling in and then the yields go down um but you know i i think like i, I don't mind sacrificing my own personal like some short-term profits i think like it'll be good for the overall uh, ecosystem. Uh, for people that don't know, like recently, like Solana went down, uh, so the, it was kind of unfortunate. Like it was like down for like almost like like a day and a half, um, and then it finally we started. Um, so and that's one of kind of one of the bad things about Solana is not it's not a, as uh, decentralized as um, other competing blockchains. Um, so I would like you know. Like you know, obviously it's, it's still early days and it's like a work in progress. And um, but it's still like it's gonna leave a bad taste in a lot of uh, people's mouths. Um, so I would like uh, Solana to kind of work on that. And this is one of the ways we can kind of help by sticking our our tokens with with like as many different uh, validators as possible, so that like you can kind of like spread out like the risk. Uh, and that that's kind of like the whole point of decentralization. But I know like they're 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 still working on it. Um, it like it's a delicate balance between like making money, but then also like you you also want to, especially as like governments like they they're starting to be unfriendly towards uh, uh cryptocurrencies. I don't I don't want like Solana to be like permanently shut down by the uh, by any um hostile governments. So, uh, but anyway, uh, back to the in the next uh, slide um party parrot finance is probably the funkiest one out of the bunch um they they're, they're sort of like I, I feel like they're they're trying to do too much like they're there's they want to be kind of like um like the solano version of maker dow where they you can take your um collateral and you can use that to eventually mint um uh, their stable coin called pi uh, pai um, so like, you know, instead of like die on Ethereum, like they have Pi, um, but they, they have like a lot of different, um, tokens. So it can get, it can get a little confusing. So like, if you wanted to, um, to stake your, your, your Solana with party power finance, you'll get back something called PRT Sol. And then you can also like do an, a second round of like, I guess like minting. And then make um, P Sol P S O L, and then like Party Parrot Finance itself has like a uh, governance token called P R T, so I think like some people got got a uh, I guess like their um, kind of like rewards, um, so like there's there's a lot of tokens involved and it can get a little little confusing, um, so that's why I um, I. I had like this this link here, like the Solana update soap stack, um, the sticking soul. Like if you want to read more about it, if if, if a party parrot finance is, is interesting to you, um, you can go there and like read more about it. Like the first time I I I, I read about it, it, it confused the heck out of me. But then like after a while, like once you do it, um, like kind of get like some hands on experience, then I 
then it can, becomes a little bit more second nature. But it, you know, a lot of people can get confused. Um, the good thing about um, Party Parrot Finance is that like you can use your liquidity pro uh, provider tokens um, as collateral, so that's kind of a good thing. But it it takes some getting used to. Um, so like that's just like my my opinion. Um, you know, feel free to kind of do your own research. Um, I think this could be really good because like eventually there there's gonna be possibly other like liquid staking uh like tokens. I I just read about our soul, but I, ha I haven't done enough research on it to to include that um in this uh, presentation. And I'm sure by the time like this the same time next year there'll be probably be other options and um like you know the good good thing about the marketplace is it's uh like the most popular options will kind of like fight itself out um so like i guess it, one of the good things is that like for example um when, when you can create like pools like this like m soul and p soul so like you can use like the marinade um uh liquid sticking uh token and then also uh do some uh be, be a liquidity provider and uh you could do stuff like that and then also mint other tokens as well um so if that's something interesting to you you can kind of go play play around with that um but you know just a warning it, it does get a little confusing and a little bit involved um but if you want like something a little bit more simpler and um and also like uh if you like transparency i think so should uh, could be for you as well. Uh, what I like about uh, Socian is that um, so their their liquid staking uh, uh, token is a uh, you'll you'll get back like something called SOCN. Um, and, and what I like about this is like you can get um, as of this writing like a slightly more yield and also um, it'll give you like a list of the validators that they're um, kind of like. Like where they're spraying out like the uh the uh like the pool so like as you can see like party parrot finance is also part of this so like if you found like party parrot like to be a little bit confusing you can kind of like support them indirectly by by um uh sticking your 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 token your solana tokens with Socian. um so that's like a uh like another option um, and if you notice, like the the APYs are, or you know, slightly. I think as of right now, they're, they're probably like the highest one. But you know, don't don't hold me to that, like because things can change in in a crypto real quick. Um, so, um, and I just wanted to kind of show you what you can do with some of your other um, your your liquid staking options. Uh, unfortunately. Um, like I mentioned earlier, like these, these APYs, like they, they really don't um, last long, uh, especially with Saber, like because they're, they're one of the bigger um, uh, projects on Solana with, um, with the biggest uh, total value locked. But the bad thing about that is uh, while it, it's good for Saber, it's bad for, I guess, like if you, if you kind of got in late. Um, you're not going to be able to get like these APYs. I I'm pretty sure by the time you watch this, like for example, if you had like some um, uh, PRT soul and you wanted to kind of deposit into this pool, it it's probably not going to be a, an additional 26%. It'll probably be like, you know, like single digits probably by the time you watch this. Uh, but I'm just like including this in the future in case like, um, you know, things could change um, if if uh you know people leave saber for whatever reason um and then the the, the yields might go back up so you know it, it depends on market forces but as of right now um like the additional yield that you can get on these um tokens will will obviously fluctuate uh, and sometimes unfortunately not in your favor uh so that's something to be aware of uh and then the like another, another option is um mercurial finance um they they have a few few options like so um when i was creating these slides um like parrot uh, party parrot finance was one of the first ones out uh so i just used that as an example um 
you can also like if you for for whatever reason in the future, um, like I don't know why. Like maybe you want to just get rid of your uh, Solana for something else in the future. Uh, what you could do is you can convert your um, uh, you know liquid staking options back into like the original Solana, and then you know, and then take it back to like a centralized exchange, and then cash out that way if if that's like a concern. So that's why. It, you know, the whole point of like liquid staking is that like you know it improves the liquidity in the overall space. So, you know, you know people have um, obligations and emergencies. So, you know, if you need to cash out, that's one way to do it. Uh, so that that's a good thing about Mercurial Finance, Saber, and even um, one of the new ones like uh, uh, Orca, uh, where you know sometimes it takes a while to kind of like unstake and. And get out of your liquidity uh, provider pro uh, positions, so that that's one of the good things about um, having like different options uh, uh, with just like in general. Um, so one of the caveats is that um, there's always contract risk, especially when you're. Uh, the, it's impossible to do like your due diligence on every single uh, validator, and that's where like these. Um, these liquid staking uh, pools like really come in handy in case like one of them goes down uh like it, it would really suck to have like your your um your your positions like your, your stake positions like slashed um because like that that doesn't that's the point of like these uh like these proof of stake type of um uh, uh ecosystems is that uh, if you if you stake with the the like one provider that 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 used to be like really good but then like all of a sudden they uh uh maybe they had like some technical problems and one of them goes down then then at least you have like there's like there's like nowhere to go if you're only staking with one one um just one validator but if you spread it out over multiple validators and just in, in general like to and that's why decentralization is so powerful like if one goes down then or maybe even in the future like one country says uh, oh nope we don't want this anymore um and they're hostile to like crypto then you can go to other places that's so that's why um uh i like st stuff like this where you can like spread out your risk um and then uh just to to wrap everything up um this again this is just like pers this, this could be personal preference thing based on like your your own uh uh, research and due diligence um i kind of like as of right now lido and social um because like i mentioned earlier in the future uh since they work uh with chorus one or i'm not sure if like they're actually part of the same maybe like a same company or maybe there's like overlap between personnel where in the future there'll be an additional um b soul token which is like a bonded token for on the uh, Terra Luna ecosystem, um, and you can get an additional, um, you know, as of right now, like a nineteen percent plus uh, UST yield on top of your Solana. So, like, if you if you prefer like your um, extra yield on like a stable coin, that that could be like a good option in the future. Um, and then I also like uh, Solution, um, where they're the and within the ecosystem, they they haven't because I think they were one of the later ones that that came. Uh, so some of the um, uh, how do you call it like the liquid staking, like the yield, the additional yields aren't as high as some of the other ones. But I like their uh, approach towards um, transparency, where we can actually see like the different validators. Whereas like for example, uh, Party Parrot and uh, Marinade, they're uh, I'm sure there there must be a way to kind of figure it out, but it's not as easy. Um, so where that so that's why like um, Socian, where like you actually see um, the different validators. Um, I, I just like the transparency, but I, but again, um, you know, it's up to a personal preference. Like some of you might be just uh, just yield farming and you want to leave the the ecosystem once the uh, money dries up, or like you know, uh, I guess like like we're in the in probably like the last stages of like the maybe like this the cycles bull run um 
so maybe like you guys you just want to kind of jump just jump in get the yield and then and then head back out uh, and then like eventually you want to cash out that's that that's perfectly fine too um but i kind of like solana like i think um like i guess like this this is kind of like the first like real uh defi cycle um so i think like in another four years like they you know things should get a lot better uh, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, I just want to give you guys like some options as to where you can stick your Solana. Uh, if if you're kind of like me, where like you kind of want to hold on for maybe uh, like you know five years or more, um, and like you know once like you know the yield farming uh, uh, profits kind of like like dry up, at least like you can uh, go back to like maybe just like just staking. Um, you know, six per six to seven percent in crypto is not very exciting. But in case like uh, uh, profits dry up, or like even worse, like there's a bear market, at least there's like somewhere to go to kind of to kind of do stuff uh, until like the next uh, bull cycle. So um, so yeah, I don't want to take up too much time. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you can consider um giving this video a like um and subscribing, so it helps um. Uh, reach other uh, uh, interested um, yield farmers. Um, that'd be great. Uh, so thank you for watching and have a great one.